Here we have a fantastic Hoob wetsuit. Now, whether you're using one of the Hoob wetsuits or another brand, here are some tips that you might like to use to really make sure you feel very comfortable using your wetsuit and that most importantly, you're not fighting against the material. Now, let's take the classic arm recovery action over the top of the water. You may have done lots of drills like finger trail to get your elbow very high. In fact, on a recent coaching workshop which we ran, we asked the coaches, what do you think is the most important aspect of the freestyle stroke? One of the coaches who was very excited at the start of the day put his hand up and said, it's all about high elbows. Get the elbows high and hands just going over the surface of the water, clearing by about a millimetre or so. Now, whilst that might look quite nice and smooth in the pool where it's perfectly flat, in the open water, of course, roughness, choppiness, swells, etc., might mean that your hand is going to get caught on the surface. So technically, that's maybe not the best advice anyway. Now, when wearing a wetsuit, that's all compounded because even with a super flexible suit like the Hoob, you're still going to experience resistance or lack of movement in the shoulders. So if you're trying to swim with these very, very high elbows, you're actually working against the wetsuit material, which is going to fatigue you and give you the sense that your shoulders aren't strong enough. In fact, many people at the start of a season, when they first get using the wetsuit again, often tell me, you know, last year's wetsuit, I need to get rid of it, I need to get a short sleeve wetsuit because my shoulders hurt, or I need to get down to the gym and start pumping some iron. Usually though, all the modification you need to make in your stroke is to not go with the classically high elbow recovery and adopt a slightly straighter, higher arm recovery over the top of the water there. In fact, some very elite open water swimmers and triathletes almost swim with like a windmill style of action. It might not look as pretty, but it means that they're not fighting against the material of the suit, and it also helps them in rough, close swimming quarters with other swimmers. Now, when wearing a wetsuit, obviously, one of the things that it's going to do is it's going to affect your buoyancy. Now, like 90% of the population, you're probably going to find that buoyancy being a positive thing. Lifting your bum and height legs higher up in the water However, we do hear from many female swimmers with very, very good natural buoyancy in the water that wearing a wetsuit lifts their bum and legs way too high at the back and they feel a bit uncoordinated, almost like they're losing coordination and balance within the water. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here in terms of modifying your stroke. You may have been taught that you need to look down towards the bottom of the pool, but if you've already got good natural body position, the last thing you want to be doing is looking down towards the bottom of the sea or ocean, because that's going to pop your legs up even higher. So a slight modification you can make is to look a bit further forward. That will actually help to sink the hips and legs a little bit and help to balance you out in the water. Completely the opposite of maybe what an Arnie would want to be doing, whereby their legs are actually dragging through the water. They need all the assistance they can get to get the bum and legs up a bit higher. So head position is a very individual thing, and even for your own stroke, you might want to adapt that from what you normally do in the pool to what you do in the open water because of the buoyancy profile of the suit. An extreme measure, if you're really struggling with very, very floaty legs, an extreme measure you can take is to actually cut a couple of inches off the bottom of the suit. When you do this, or if you choose to do this, I'd recommend you cut the suit at a bit of an angle, thereby increasing the width of the hole to allow you a swifter, smoother transition Shooting the, shooting the wetsuit off or pulling the wetsuit off into that transition area. So those couple of techniques will really help you. And the final thing, which is worth pointing out, if you've been looking at our information about stroke rate training, you'll find that the wetsuit, because it's obviously it's quite elastic by nature, if you're normally swimming at, let's say, 60 strokes per minute in the pool, you might find that 60 strokes per minute in the wetsuit feels very, very slow indeed maybe 64 to 66 might be more appropriate. That's because you may be lacking a little bit of range in the stroke because of the resistance here, but equally, as you stretch forward, the wetsuit is wanting to snap you back. So it actually helps you to develop a slightly higher tempo, which might be more beneficial for rough open water swimming. So there's two or three key tips that you can use when wearing a wetsuit of any brand to help improve your swimming technique in the open water.